Hello folks, time for another one of these. Let's do a more complicated implementation this time. We're going to look at something that I've implemented myself, which is connecting via video or audio to a, um, to a video call. Let's do it. Um, there's going to be a whole bunch of different states we need to worry about, but let's take us through the entire process from where you want to connect your video to, um, to actually logging on and then disconnecting as well. So I know we're going to need a state where we're in maybe like a a waiting area, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is going to be really complex, so we may end up only implementing parts of this. But we've got a waiting area. Uh, we probably need a some things in here that are going to... Con so there are some things we need to do. We need to connect to the user's um, video devices. So on the web, that means asking for permission in order to access them. So I'm going to put in a state here uh, asking for permission for audio and video devices or asking for permission for devices. This is interesting because um, this is an async method. Um, it it's, uh, returns a promise as far as I know the browser API in JavaScript. So when something returns a promise and we care about the outcome that means it needs to be a service. So a service then is going to be invoked in asking for permission for devices. We certainly know that. I'm going to invoke ask for permission to use devices I think that seems fair um, and when that's done then because we probably need to do that um, as soon as we go on the page right so as soon as we go on the page we know that the user has an intent to connect to this video or audio call imagine we're building like a zoom copy or something and then once we've got permission for the devices then I think we go to the waiting area so let's just go on on done. This is kind of a special event which I'll link into the um, link into the description below, which is when a service is is complete, reaches the done state, its final state, then you can listen for the on done event and then just go somewhere. When you have an on done, you pretty much always know that there's going to be an on error as well, which links me to I guess a uh, special state which is could not connect to. Uh, devices. There we go. Uh, right, which is on error goes from there. Let's do a funky arrow for this one. Goes there. On error. Okay, so we're in the waiting area. Inside the waiting area, I guess you can. We have access to all the devices, um, and now we need to work out which ones you want to pick. I'm imagining in the waiting area there's going to be like a, a visual where you can look at your own video and, and check things. So when you're in the waiting area, there are going to be states and events that are only possible from inside the waiting area. I'm debating whether to do a nested machine inside this waiting area. Um, I think I'm not going to. We certainly will need a nested machine later, but we're going to have some events which do a sort of funky pattern here, which only go back to themselves, which is... We want them to be able to choose audio device. And we also want them to choose a video device as well. So I imagine we'll pick some by default. But choose, yeah, why did I do that? I don't know. Ah, uh, choose video device, that's why. <laughs> I can't even spell video. What's happening to me? Choose video device. And uh, so it sort of looks like this and goes back around. OK. The reason that these events don't go anywhere is because they only serve to do an action. Um, some events, you can you don't have to target different states for an event. Uh, an event can just pull back into the same state and have an action here. So here we're going to assign audio device. And I'll mark that as an action. Assign audio device. I've accidentally gone slightly too small with my initial font, so hopefully that makes sense. Then here we're going to make it so it's choose video device instead. As action, assign video device. Hopefully that looks all right for you. Really cannot spell video. Wow. Uh, and Excadrill, you're not helping. Okay, doke. Uh, that means that we we probably have some sort of um, concept of the devices that we're using in context which means that when we gain access to the when we ask permission to use the devices when it's done we probably want to assign some defaults to context assign default 
devices to context. So that means when we get to the waiting area, we have the default devices in context ready to be picked and ready to be chosen. Um, and I think that's it. So when we're in the waiting area, I guess we can... I'm debating whether we need like a cancel action or whether we don't want to enter this call. But I think we can safely say they can just close their browser. This is the first sort of thing that they've done on the page is to accept permission to audio devices. They're in the, in the waiting area. Yeah, let's imagine that to leave the viewing or leave the um, leave the call, they just close the page. So we're in the waiting area, and then um, they need. I'm going to draw a big box here because I know this box is going to be important. Um, so we're in the waiting area. When we get there now, I'm going to add like a joining state in here. Because I think actually to, like at this point, we haven't actually joined, um, when we're in the waiting area, we haven't joined to any third party service yet. We haven't, uh, I'm imagining like um, Twilio or let's go with Amazon Chime, for instance. Uh, Amazon AWS Chime is like a, a video service which you can connect to, which uh, does, uh, handles video calls and handles audio calls at, at fairly cheap rates. Let's imagining that when the user chooses the devices they want to use, mm, they uh, what they then do is they go into a joining chime call joining chime call state and let's link it with a um, join event so they're joining the chime call and again this is a, this is not a, like a, a fire and forget action because we we really care about the outcome to this if this errors which of course you know we need to consider um, then we're going to have to go to a different state, aren't we? We're not going to be a could not connect to devices state. It's going to be like a uh, could not join connect to call. Hmm. I'm getting a sort of iffy feeling about that, but I may get back to it later. So that's on error. We go there. And then on done for the joining chime call, we're going to go to there. So on done. Now this state over here is a very important state, so I'm going to give it um, some calls there. Uh, on done um, is not the name of the state. The name of the state is in call. And we'll get back to you in a second because you're important. So joining chime call, um, yeah, that feels pretty good. The thing that, that felt iffy here is that on error, really, we don't want to go to a, a state where things are irrecoverable. Because this like this on error could happen for a bunch of reasons. It could happen because of a temporary network outage or something similar. So we really want them to go back to the waiting area and display a temporary error message. That's what we want to do. So on error, we don't want to do this. We want to go... And then go back to the waiting area. And then on error, we also want to actions in small size. Thank you. Um, actions a display error display could not connect toast. We're going to display a toast, which is going to kind of uh, contextualize why the the viewer has been chucked back into the waiting area. And a toast is something that just sort of pops up on the screen temporarily, then goes away. There we go. Okay, so that is a better experience. That means they can go back here and rejoin, and then when they do finally get back in, then they're in the call. So here's where things start getting real crazy. Um, we're going to have to do uh, several uh, states in here because there's a few things that when you're in a call you need to manage. You need to um, you need to manage uh, whether you're muted or not. Let's add that first. I'm going to add like a nested state in here, and I think there's going to be several parallel states happening at once here. Parallel states is a state charts concept, uh, and I'll I'll link it in the description below. So the first parallel state we've got to worry about is um, muted state or uh, microphone. So here, let's uh, add in a couple of substates. We've got to go for a um, 
we're going to be in this state first of all, which is the unmuted state. Let's imagine that they have to start unmuted. We'll give it an initial state here. Uh, and then we're going to go... I guess we'll, we'll need a mute, muted state. Muted state. And I'm, I'm trying to work out if we... Because in, in Chime, for instance, you can call a method which mutes your microphone. I wonder whether we want to make this... We probably want to make this a, an, a, a service, don't we? I'm debating... It's kind of easier to conceptualize to make it an action because you can imagine that you know, the action will always succeed and blah, 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 then it will always work. But for this, for when we're muting ourselves, we actually do really care about the outcome, which means this, sadly, this box is going to get a lot bigger. So we've got this muted state over here. Uh, we're going to grab a muting state which is going to be, uh, there's going to be a service in here, so invoke mute mic and boo, 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 mute mic in chime because yeah you can't just mute your own microphone like locally and like stop the connection you also have to tell chime about it so mute microphone a line left thank you uh, okay, so we've got muting, and I guess we also need an unmuting state too. So I'm going to have to, like, the way that this looks for the video is probably going to be, like, exactly the same, I think. Um, unmuting, and then unmute microphone. So unmuting, unmute microphone. And now we're going to, this might get pretty messy pretty quickly, so I might have to make this bigger again. But when we're unmuted and we go to mute the mic, then we're going to go to muting. Then on done, we're going to have to go to muted. Um, when we unmute, I hope I'm saying all these words correctly, it's very possible I'm not. Uh, we go from the unmuting state to the unmuted state. All this makes sense. Um, the issue is errors. Now errors in the unmuting state, okay that's how you want to do your errors, fair enough. Um, errors in the unmuting state are going to have to go back to the muted state but with an action to display a toast saying that they failed. Again same here, this one is going to have to go back here. You notice how careful you have to be with all this logic, right? Like, it's so easy to just forget about this. Ah, this, this stuff will never fail. Um, and you, it really screws you. So, unmute, or oh, no, mute goes here. That's that event. Um, then unmute, that's a user action there. I'll make this go wee. Uh, and then on error. On done and on done, no, on error, and then there's an on done up there. So I'm going to take it as read that uh, we're actually going to model the um, the video in the same way. Uh, I'm just not going to walk you through it because it's going to be pretty dull. Uh, mm, actually, no, I might, I might walk you through it. Uh, we're just going to copy all of this and then instead of muting and unmuting, so it's going to be video uh, unmuted yeah actually I'm just not going to change the names of any of this stuff so let's say we're going to say mute video is like the same as don't share your video anymore, unshare video so but the point of this is you can see that microphone and video are two separate states they're not actually linked to each other but they both have like a a state machine within the larger state machine. So these, this is what's called a parallel state machine inside the in-call function, inside the in-call state. And it's such a cool paradigm because you can nest states in within other states. And so you can express all of these different languages and stuff, all these different domains inside a single state machine. Look at this, look how big this is getting already. This is kind of a chunker of a state machine. So, and we're not even done yet. Um, so there are many other things that we could put inside this in-call thing. I know that the one that I've done for work, it has like uh, network connectivity issues and things. Uh, it has, oh, it's got, it's got all sorts of stuff that's domain specific as well. Um, we should probably, um, 
I'm trying to think, like, for leaving the call, like, um, like there's all sorts of ways that we could extend this. We could, uh, if the user loses, like, network connectivity or something, um, then we probably need to error back into the waiting area. So let's say that when we're in the call and we receive, we could receive even an event from, uh, from like, a, a different actor or something. Let's say that on this, whoops, wrong bit, we're going to go from the in-call state all the way back to the whoop, waiting area state. And that is going to be triggered by, if I make that a little bit thinner, uh, nope, screwed that up. Uh, that is going to be triggered by the uh, network dropped error. And on network dropped, we're again, we're going to show a toast, display failed connection toast uh, on the network dropped area. Uh, actions, display network dropped toast. And I think that will do it for now. Network dropped toast. So let's walk through a couple of um, ways that this could go. We could ask the permission for devices. Fine, that's uh, an invoke. We've got an on error on done covered, so I'm happy with those. I'm happy that this state is kind of like irrecoverable. You can't ever get back from this state. That feels fine to me because like they'll probably have to refresh their page, fiddle with permissions, or do something there. Mm. Maybe we could add some retry logic in there, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cheap, actually, to add, add retry. Um, we could just go boo boo boo, uh, retry, and then everyone's happy. Uh, then we go to, when we're done there, we assign the devices to context. We're in the waiting area. You can choose a video device, audio device. You can join. You can, If you fail to join, you go back to the waiting area with a message. When you're done, you can go to the in-call state where you can manage your microphone and video and everything's kind of being shared and things. Oh yeah, we should probably add an invoke in here. Invoke, join chime call. Then if the network drops, then you display network drop toast and you go back to the waiting area and you can zoom through again. Notice that these sequences where you can go back and forth and things are super great with uh, state machines. And all of this, this kind of parallel states as well is great for managing kind of a finite number of cases where you know that things are, are going to be uh, manageable, really. It's pretty cool. And of course, this, this is a centralized spot where all of your state is managed that you can just fire events to. So it's nice and indirect as well. All your logic is, is tailored in one place. But cool. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, hopefully, I'll be back uh, with another one of these. I really enjoy doing them, actually. Cheers.